It is 725, and if you'll just give me 60 seconds here, I have a bit of an announcement. For the last eight years, I've been lucky enough to be part of your morning every morning and be here on the news. But I'm not going to bury the lead. That is ending. My last day will be Friday, and I'll be honest, I am kind of sad about it. I am a little bit disappointed. I don't have anything lined up professionally to do next, but I'm going to be a stay-at-home dad. I'm thrilled to spend more time with my kids, my husband, and that is going to be a blessing. Since joining KCBQ, I've been lucky enough to do so many things with you, anchoring, breaking news, feature reporting, business, sports. I've even done weather and traffic, as bad as that was. I've also just been honest with you about the news and about myself. I've been able to share my identity as a gay married dad and what that experience is like. I've shared, you know, the grief it was like and it has been after losing our son Tommy when he died. I've shared the pain after my dad was shot on the job as a police officer in Bremerton. I've shared the frustrations that all of us have experienced during the pandemic. But we've also had a lot of fun. I'm always wearing crazy socks. I love hilarious viral clips. Anytime I can get Liz and Bill over here laughing, it's a good day. And of course, we all remember that time I tried to uh, help my friend Casey draw a cannon live <laughs> on TV. The best part, though, is just simply being your friend and being your neighbor each morning. That's not going to stop. You're still in my heart. So even if we don't see each other here every day, I'm still with you, and that's okay. So thank you. Thank you very much for letting this little kid from Port Orchard live out his dream. We'll be back with more news after this.